Cars.com Auto Review. Hi, I'm Dave Thomas of Cars.com, and Lincoln has redesigned pretty much everything about the MKX for 2011. That includes the ride, the styling, and even the interior, but it still has to hold up against some really tough competition. The MKX is actually rolling on the same platform as last year's model, but Lincoln has done a lot with the styling to show the difference between the two. Now, most noticeably is this new grille, and Lincoln's putting this on all their new cars and SUVs. You're gonna probably notice that on the road a lot, and it's definitely the standout feature of this model. When I think luxury SUVs, I think comfortable ride and a powerful engine, and the MKX has both. The ride is actually extremely quiet. This is one of the quietest luxury SUVs I've tested. In the 3.7 liter V6, it's pretty powerful, and it certainly moves us a lot faster than you find in a Lexus RX. The MKX starts just under $40,000, and the interior is really nice for that price. About what you'd expect from a Lexus RX or Acura MDX, so Lincoln's doing a very good job competing in that area. Now, Lincoln's big selling point for the MKX is what they call My Lincoln Touch. It's this all-new entertainment system and display for the gauges, which they think is a showstopper, but I had some real issues with it. There are two main elements of the system we want to talk about. One is a display screen, and the other is a control system, which actually has no physical buttons. So you're not pushing anything in or out, you're just putting your finger where it tells you your command that you want. So if you want uh, volume or temperature, you just put your finger on it and it'll beep to tell you that it, it worked. There are also some pretty nifty sliders for the volume and vent control, and all of these I actually didn't have a problem with. The real issue I had was with the touchscreen navigation system. Now it's split up into four quadrants, which sounds pretty simple. You have one for your phone, which actually works pretty well, one for navigation, one for music, and one for your AC control. Now the problem with most of those, like the music and the AC controls, you need to hit the screen two or three times to get exactly what you want. And that's not something you want to be doing while you're driving. The back seat has plenty of room for most adults. I have the driver's seat exactly where I had it when I was driving. I'm 5'10". You can see I have plenty of knee room. And even with a panoramic sunroof equipped, I have plenty of headroom as well. Now you might have some problems if you have kids in child safety seats. I had both of my kids in here this weekend, and their feet were kicking us for most of the ride. As you can see, the cargo area is plenty big for stuff like golf bags. And I even picked up my in-laws from the airport the other day and fit two large suitcases, and they only took up half of the cargo area. So it's pretty big. It also has a handy button to put the rear seats down so you don't have to pull a latch or walk around. Unfortunately, they don't pull back up with the touch of a button, you have to walk around and push them up. It also has an automatic lift gate. The MKX certainly has everything you'd want in a luxury SUV, from the quiet ride to the powerful engine and the nice interior. However, it didn't wow me in the end, and I don't think it'll surpass the competition either. For more car-related news, go to cars.com or our blog, kickingtires.net.